Major advances in the medical sciences have led to an improvement in global life expectancy, increasing from 32.0 years in 1900 to 66.3 years in 2000. Since 2000, it has continued to rise to the current 72.6 years. Although stark differences exist in current life expectancies across countries and territories globally. In addition, while therapies and cures have been developed to treat many life-threatening conditions, individuals continue to be overburdened by treatable or preventable ailments, raising the question, what role does access to healthcare play in prolonging life? While disease morbidity can play a substantial role in life expectancy, recent findings in public health research also call to attention the exigent role social determinants play for the quality and longevity of life in a population. There are several individual factors intrinsically tied to a longer life expectancy around the world egg, education, income, malnutrition. Such factors can interplay with access to healthcare in varying ways based on location, social factors, and healthcare system. Regressions in social determinants can also blunt the impact of medical advances and are paramount to address in order to improve the longevity and quality of life within and outside the healthcare setting. However, the manner in which social determinants and healthcare systems interact remains an underexplored area of public health. Social determinants can be defined as modifiable factors or conditions in an individual's daily environment that have an effect on health and which are tied to place and social context. Social determinants include education, economic stability, neighborhood and built environment, social and community context, and healthcare. In combination, these factors constitute five key areas of social determinants that impact the state of an individual's health, aspects of which are all prioritized by Healthy People 2020 and the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. At the forefront of these factors is education. Educational attainment impacts not only longevity of life, but also the quality of that life. Both of these traits are central to prolonging life expectancy as efforts are made to extend life in a manner that includes both well-being and caliber as central characteristics to a healthy aging process. In the United States, US, higher educational attainment has been shown to account for as much as 30% difference in life expectancy among adults. When examining life expectancy, we must also consider multiple indicators of education egg, literacy rate, Population with at least secondary education as different factors aid us in better understanding the connection between education, healthcare, and life expectancy overall. Economic stability is a second key area of social determinants that bears a substantial influence on population health. At the individual level, socioeconomic status has been shown to impact health throughout the life course. From preterm birth to healthy physical and cognitive aging socioeconomic factors, such as employment and income, can directly and indirectly impact an individual's health. Employment status can also extend beyond the individual, seriously impacting not only their own survival, but the health and well-being of their dependents. From a population standpoint, factors like gross domestic product GDP, are constantly tied to morbidity and mortality performance in a given population. Thus, the integration of economic stability comprises a necessary component for understanding longevity of life. Both neighborhood and built environment are also intrinsically tied to an individual's life expectancy. Pollution, for example, is known to heavily impact childhood health egg, asthma, and morbidity, respiratory infections, chronic diseases, and other conditions associated with air quality can also impact quality of life in youth, drastically affecting their physical health educational attainment, and even the frequency of emergency care use. As these factors persist throughout the life course, healthy human development can be compromised causing long-term effects carried into adulthood. A starkly different aspect of built environment is unintentional injuries, which can often lead to premature death. Road safety is one such marker which impacts rates of disability and mortality in populations around the world globally. One person dies from a traffic-related accident Every 25 seconds, unintentional injuries, combined with 6 million deaths tied to air pollution, make neighborhood and built environment an integral component for understanding life expectancy. How stressors in a person's social and community context affect an individual can also help us to understand longevity of life. Coping strategies and other related factors give us insight into an individual's everyday behavior. 
Social indicators such as substance abuse can serve to highlight what proportion of a population is facing challenges in their social relationships and daily lives and how someone copes with stressors. The consumption of heavy drug and alcohol use, as seen with substance abuse, often results in adverse health effects that directly impact how long a person might live. Interrelated to substance abuse is suicide, which provides insight into how well an individual might cope with difficulties, as well as social and community challenges existing in their community. Suicide rates help to reflect the mental health of a population and access to mental health care services in that population, which contribute to and can help inform quality and longevity of life at the population level. Finally, healthcare is an essential social determinant of health that impacts life expectancy. The state and quality of an individual's well-being egg, undernourishment, immunizations, healthcare access has long-term effects that can remain throughout the life course. Research on malnutrition, for example, shows lasting effects on individual health which extend into adulthood. Immunizations also play a role in life expectancy, mainly through reduction or avoidance of disease burden and transmission, thereby preventing quality of life to falter as individuals age and in some cases reducing risk of death through regular visits to a primary healthcare provider. Issues like malnutrition and preventative immunizations can be identified early on, reducing the likelihood disease will develop later in life. Perhaps the most important social determinant, thus, is access to healthcare. Publicly funded healthcare can provide individuals with increased access to primary, secondary, and tertiary prevention services and treatment, which can span from regular checkups to life-saving medical procedures. As we evaluate life expectancy, it is therefore critical to incorporate a deeper understanding of the role publicly funded healthcare can play for longevity of life in a population. That's all for today guys. Hope you liked the video and remember to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.